Hello, it's uh, Jonathan Davis with Patriot Arms Gunsmithing. Uh, today I wanted to do a practical test of Cerakote. I've been doing a lot of Cerakoting recently. Um, it, you know, a lot of manufacturers are even doing Cerakote nowadays. It's basically a ceramic spray coat that you put on your firearm and it's really, really durable. Well, today I'm just going to do a practical test. Uh, you can look in the booklet, you can see all their abrasive wheel tests, their salt spray tests, whatnot. But I'm just going to do a practical test. So uh, it's going to be a series of four tests, very simple. I'm just going to throw this test piece on the ground. And I've already done these tests a few times just to kind of know what to expect. However, what this is just a test piece. All I did was this is a piece of barrel that I cut off for a shotgun. And I, uh, when I was um, doing a Cerakote job, I put this in there, ser uh, blasted it, and then with my extra spray, I just uh, sprayed it really quick. Um, it's a SOCOM blue with double hardener. I don't know if the double hardener is going to make a difference in these tests. Um, but basically this SOCOM blue with double hardener kind of makes it mimic uh, regular you know, hot caustic bluing or maybe even rust bluing. Um, so basically my four tests is I'm going to heat it up with a propane torch uh, to kind of show like, you know, a lot of people are like, if I shoot the gun a lot and it gets really, really hot, say if they have a you know a class three and they're shooting fully automatic weapons, this is going to flake off. Also, I'm just going to uh, drop it on the concrete and hit it a couple times with the file, maybe scrape it a few times with a screwdriver. And by doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an extreme case of what it is. If you have a rifle or any type of gun that's Cerakoted and if you drop it, you know, is it going to ding up your finish? Uh, if you drop a tool on it or if you hit it with a tool for some reason, is it going to mess it up? So, let's do the drop test. And I'll come back and I'll look at all these uh, later in depth for you because I'm doing the cameras myself. This is with the file, which has very sharp points obviously because it's a file and it's very hard to steal. And then we have a hollow ground screwdriver. And again, these are just practical tests to kind of show you what's going on. Obviously, if this was bluing, it would be a pretty bad. But um, uh, my last test is I'm going to actually dunk it in the water. I have a creek in my backyard. I'm going to dunk it into the creek and bury it in the creek so you have you know, water, mud, and a bunch of crap that's going to get in. I'm probably going to leave it there for maybe a week, maybe even a month to see if it actually rusts through the actual Cerakote. And I also have, uh, since I, this was a test piece and I just used my last little bit of spray, there's actually two pieces or two lines that I didn't get to fully coat. So we actually have like basically raw steel right there. So we'll get to the fire test, then we'll get to the dunk test and wait a week, wait a month, see what happens, see if we have any results. Now we're going to do the heat test. I'm going to do it half and half. Uh, half of it is Cerakote, the other half is uh, the, just the part that didn't get sprayed. Uh, so I can tell when it gets red, see how hot it gets. Right now we're at a kind of a straw color. Now it's starting to get some color into it. And again, this is just a practical test. This isn't an actual test for science or anything like that. I just want to show people the how awesome Cerakote is. It's starting to get red a little bit, a little dull red. And again, if your gun is uh, exposed to flame like this, you're obviously putting the gun somewhere where it shouldn't be. Now we're gonna let that cool, take another look at it. Okay, 
This is the test piece after the three tests. Um, I know you guys couldn't really see the scrapes that I was doing with the screwdriver, but basically I was just doing that a lot harder on this side. On this side, I was actually digging in and gouging it. So, this left side didn't really break through the Cerakote, but it obviously left a mark. And this, that's metal that obviously broke through. And again, we're talking about tool hardened steel quality screwdrivers. These are not Home Depot screwdrivers. These are gunsmith hollow ground screwdrivers, so they have a pretty nice edge on them. This is the file marks. Again, very hard steel, sharp. So you're going to have it obviously broke through the Cerakote. On this side, it didn't break through the Cerakote 100%, only on the very sharp corners, but these did. For the heat test, it did cause some bubbling. And uh, it caused that bubbling because it got red. So, I mean, you're talking about over 800 degrees, 740 to, and higher. Um, so, pretty much around 600, based on the colors as I was seeing, right around the 580 to 600 degrees that it was getting, based on the color schemes, um, it wasn't bubbling. But once it got probably higher than 640, it started bubbling. Um, Again, if you're going to get a suppressor, you're going to get a fully automatic weapon. I recommend the air-cured uh, Cerakote because it's uh, a higher temperature. But um, as for the regular stuff, for, I mean, you're not going to get your gun up to that high degree of a temperature unless if it's in a fire. But if it's in a fire, you're going to expect damage anyways. The concrete marks are on these edges. And that one broke through this uh, Cerakote. And on the edges right here, that's the main part where it hit. But... It did hit on other places, and I just wiped off. You know, I just put my thumb on it like this and wiped it off, and it was the concrete came right off. It didn't even ding the um, Cerakote. So these are just extreme practical tests. Unless if you plan on throwing your gun on the ground, um, you shouldn't have any worries. And unless if you plan on using it to stoke your fire, you shouldn't have to worry about that. And if you if you drop keys on it or something like that, I don't really expect these marks to happen. But like if you dig them in, you know, you know, a, le a leather holster is not going to do that. So it's a pretty good piece. I just really want to show you a practical extreme example. I guess practical and extreme are kind of oxymorons, but you know, whatever. You're getting the test out. Now we're going to go dunk it. Okay, I said I had a creek, and this is. Not a pretty creek. This is like a Georgia redneck creek, and this is exactly what it is. Um, it's just a very small creek that kind of runs through. Um, when it rains, it gets a little full. When it's not raining, it, it still stays pretty wet. So as you can see, we have some water and we have some mud. And again, this is Loganville, Georgia, and Georgia is a very humid place anyways. We have been getting some rain, but uh, it's July 1st, so... If you really want to do a weather report uh, on how long I do this, if you want to get that in depth, you can see how much rain Loganville, Georgia gets. Um, but basically right here is where I'm going to be sticking this thing at, right in the water. And that's where it's going to be for a long time. So it's going to be in sand, mud, Georgia clay, and water, and it's going to sit there until I start seeing some uh, good rust on it. And then we'll probably wait a week longer and then pull it out, and then we'll see if any of the Cerakote actually uh, got rusted through. With the dings and uh, all the marks that we put in it, you, uh, we should have a pretty good um, comparison between Cerakote and actually exposed metal. Uh, but this is one of the top benefits of Cerakoting versus uh, bluing. Um, and pretty much any other type of finish that uh, a, gun, a local gunsmith can do for you unless if you want to get something like diamond uh, coated or uh, black nitrated or something like that. So we're going to let this sit and we're going to wait a while and I'll pull it back out and I'll show you what results we have. Today is July 1st and uh, we'll find out. Okay so it's July 28th and I am about to pick the test piece out. Looks like it's got some uh, pretty good rust on it. It's starting to look like Cheetos. So we're all good. I'm gonna hurry up and get out of here before I get bit by a spider Ugh. or something else. Um, but as you can tell on the, right here we got some rust on it and I'm gonna hose it down 
but for the most part it looks like everything that was Cerakoted is uh, still Cerakote and it's not rusty but we're going to take a closer in-depth look at it but anything that was bare metal looks like it was rust obviously it's been out here for 28 days and we've had some uh, some pretty good rain in July so I am going to rinse this off and take a closer peek at it okay we have our test piece uh, back out of the water basically I just cleaned it off rinsed it off and let it dry um, this rust that you're seeing is basically the area that was not sprayed again this was just a test piece so I just uh, sprayed it like on two sides and then one side didn't get or two sides really didn't get it um, any Cerakote on it you can see some surface rust where it was bare metal again this was in the, um, the little creek for about uh, 28 days here we have the file marks uh, that I hit with the file and even though it looks like it's bare still we got some surface rust right here um, they really didn't rust up so that's it's pretty cool um, here are the scratches that I did with my um, hollow ground screwdriver um, we have some surface rust right here but for the most and some right here but for the most part they didn't rust up um, so it looks like the Cerakote was uh, actually pretty th it's thicker than we think it is or than what we can see but as you can see the bare metal did get rust on it this right here is where I cut the, uh, this barrel piece off at and it obviously has some rusting going on if we look over here to where I put the open flame on it um, even though it kind of started blowing it up it did not actually uh, start rusting um, as you can see the inside of it is uh, pretty rusted because that's just uh, that did not get Cerakoted but for the most part, as you can tell, Cerakote does have its extreme advantages over bluing because if this was a blue piece, it would already be uh, rusted. This whole thing would be rusted. Um, you know, this is a hard, hardened punch. And as you can tell, it's, it's pretty durable. So you don't have to really worry about leather wearing into the Cerakote. It's uh, very hard stuff unless if you have an actual metal object that's hard it's not really going to scratch it. Um, and unless if you plan on putting it to an exposed flame it's probably not going to boil over. Um, but other than that I mean as you can tell this thing has not rusted at all where the Cerakote is so if you whoever is applying Cerakote if they apply it right which is not too hard if you follow their directions uh, you got a superior product over bluing. Um, that's your Cerakote piece and I hope hopefully this test helped you guys out and convinced you guys to get some guns Cerakoted um, you know they say the two enemies of guns are politicians and rust well this has definitely beat one of those enemies um, I don't really think people are going to be worried about hitting their guns with files but uh, yeah it's definitely a, a very good rust preventative and I didn't put any oil on this whatsoever I actually sprayed it with TCE degreaser to get all the oils off of it that I could. So if you're looking at getting Cerakote, Patreon's gunsmithing would be very happy to do it for you. And there's an array of colors, not just this particular color that you can choose from.